Very good morning. I am Dr. Sandil Kumar, Associate Professor in the Department of Agriculture Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. And I welcome you all for this lecture series for the course for mechanization. And this video is the topic based on topic 8, that is the secondary tillage, its objectives, implements, types, and constructional features, as well as the working principles and operations. For this secondary tillage, what are all the implements that is being used for the purpose of secondary tillage will be discussed in this video. And to say about the secondary tillage, we know that uh, tillage is the one of the methods of ploughing in which uh, pulverization of soil takes place. Uh, when the depth uh, is from 36 to 36, then we can say it as the primary tillage and to say about the definition for secondary tillage. Tillage operations following primary tillage which are performed to create a proper soil tilt for seeding and planting or secondary tillage operations. They are lighter and finer operation performed on the soil after primary tillage operations. Secondary tillage consists of conditioning of soil to meet different tillage objectives. The implements used for secondary tillage operations are called secondary tillage attachments implements. Secondary tillage operations do not cause much soil invention and the shifting of soil from one place to another while these things will be happen in case of primary tillage these operations consume less power per unit area compared to primary tillage operations secondary tillage is stirring of soil comparatively at the shallow depth that means mainly in case of surface the operation is carried out then we used to term it as the secondary tillage so main objectives and why we are going for this secondary tillage means to improve the seed bed by better pulverization of soil to destroy the weeds which is available in the form to cut the crop residue and mix vegetative matter in the top soil surface of the soil is to be mixed with the vegetative matter as well as the crop residue to break the clods making the soil tilt better for your better uh, which creating for a better germination of seeds so once the sowing is carried out the germination of seed we should uh, provide a good condition for germination of seed. So by means of this secondary tillage, germination of seed is easily makes it easy. To aerate the soil, the soil should not be compacted because it will affect germination. And the various machines that are used for the secondary tillage operations are maybe tractor drawn or puller drawn implements. They include different types of harrows, cultivators, levelers. Claw crush crushers and similar implements are used for this secondary tillage operations. And to say about this harrow, this is the main implement which is used for the secondary tillage operation. This implement used for preparing fine seed bed. It helps in breaking the claws. It helps in pulverizing the soil or mixing the soil thoroughly. Aerates soil and kills the weeds. Used mostly in lighter soil conditions, it will be used sometimes used to cover seeds after broadcasting so using this broadcaster the sowing of seeds will process will be carried out once sowing is over the seeds will be covered using the uh, seeds will be covered using this harrow after uh, broadcasting is carried out harrow is a secondary tillage implement that cuts the soil to a shallow depth for smoothening and pulverizing the soil as well as cut the weeds and uh, mix the materials with the soil Several types of harrow used, there are many types of harrows are available, that is a disc harrow, spring tooth harrow, spike tooth harrow, blade harrow are the bakkar, gundaka, then the triangular harrow, bordella, zigzag harrow, binda and the other types of harrows are available, normally available in case of form operations. And to say about the disc harrow, it is a harrow which performs the harrowing operation by means of set or a number of sets of rotating disc each set being mounted on a common shaft uh, all the ships it may be 6 disc or 8 disc or 12 disc like that all the discs will be connected to a common shaft this harrow is found very suitable for hard grounds full of stacks and grasses it cuts the lumps of soil clods and roots discs are mounted on one two and more axles which may be set at a variable angle to line of motion as the harrow is pulled ahead the disc rotates on the ground Depending upon the disc arrangement, disc harrows are divided into two classes. One is the single action, another one is the double action. To save the single action disc harrow, this is a harrow with two ga gangs placed each to end to end, which throws the soil in opposite direction. These discs are arranged in such a way that 
right hand gang throws the soil towards the right and left hand gang throws the soil towards the left that means gang is nothing but the collection of more number of disc so right side gang will, will throw the soil towards the right side and left side left hand gang one will throw the soil towards the left side this is the working of the single action disc arrow so you can see here that is the single action double action as well as offset so images for the various types of disc arrows are shown so this hope this image shows the top view of the disc arrow and to say about the double action disc arrow it is a disc arrow consisting of two or more gangs in which a set of one or more gangs follow behind the set of other one or two arranging such a way that front and back gangs throw the soil in opposite direction and generally covers a bit ranging from 5 to 15 feet normally the range will be covering from 5 feet to 15 feet thus the entire field is worked twice in each trip it may be of two types that is the tandem type or offset type and the tandem disc arrow as well as offset disc arrow this is a disc arrow comprising four gangs in which each gang can be angled in op opposite directions like each gangs are opposite angle to each other and to save the offset disc arrow this is a disc arrow with two gangs in tandem capable of being offset to each side of the center line of the pole two gangs are fitted one behind the another the width covered by these types of arrows ranges between 4 feet to 30 feet the soil is thrown in both directions because disc of board gangs face in opposite directions it is very useful for orchards and gardens it travels left or right of the tractor the line of pull is not in the middle that's why it is called offset disc arrow it is based on the basic principle that side thrust against the front gang is opposed by the side thrust of the rear gang that is the working principle for this offset disc arrow and to separate hence the gangs are arranged at suitable angles so that both thrust and counter balance with each other and to, uh, thank you for watching this video on this uh, various types of disc arrows and this is the video uh, lecture on the course for mechanization and i am dr sandal kumar from the department of agricultural engineering sns college of technology coimbatore thank you for watching this video